we're taking you aboard the Boeing Jet Stratoliner, the 707, to give you a preview of airliner travel of the future. Because our first commercial liners are not ready as yet, this will have to be partly make-believe. We might call it a flight into tomorrow. This is a full-scale mock-up of the cabin interior that was constructed in New York City. It will give you some idea of the design, decor, and equipment contemplated for the Jet Stratoliner series. We won't burden you with statistics about the size of this airplane, except to tell you that its wing spread is greater than the length of the Wright brothers' first flight at Kitty Hawk. The airplane you see in flight is the actual 707 prototype airplane at Seattle, which has been flying since 1954 in a comprehensive test program. Now, we're going to mix reality with make-believe and begin where all airline flights begin, at a busy metropolitan air terminal. You'll find the usual airport hustle and bustle unchanged. But this announcement catches your interest. Boeing 707 Stratoliner, now loading. All aboard, please. It means that you're going to fly in America's first jet airliner. The instant you step through the doorway, you've become a part of the jet age. Everything is new and modern. The darker tones of former transports have given way to luminous gay color schemes that give you a feeling of luxury and well-being. And now it's time for takeoff. As soon as we're airborne, I have many more things to show and discuss with you. After starting the engines, we taxi directly to the runway and take off with no engine run-up. This is the usual jet engine procedure and is much less tedious for the pilot and for the passengers. Now that we're flying, let's first explain how all this began. The answer may come as a surprise to you. It all began with you. It's true. Everything about the 707 has been planned with you in mind. These interiors were created for you by Boeing engineers and the noted industrial design firm of Walter Dorwin Teague Associates. It's a completely fresh approach to cabin interiors using all new materials. The ceiling and wall panels are not only easily removable, but washable as well. Every decision in matters of design and decor has been resolved around your comfort, well-being, and safety. That the results were successful is apparent everywhere. For example, there's the convenience of generous hat racks within easy reach. Comfort means luxurious chairs that permit you to stretch out with ample leg room. But comfort aboard the 707 is much more than that. It's a completely different concept of flight and the hallmark of this airplane. The secret lies in the smooth jet engines. Once you're aloft, you instantly become aware of this unique experience of riding in an airplane that's entirely free of vibration. The 707 offers twice as many windows as the conventional airliner. Even from the aisle seat, your visibility is good. Wherever you sit, you may enjoy the sky view or the terrain below. Immediately above each row of seats, we find a completely new innovation, the Stratolite service unit. It provides the fresh air supply, individual reading lights, public address system speaker, and the stewardess call button. The four lavatories in the 707 
were styled in the manner of a small powder room in a private home. Adjacent to each are the convenient coat racks and ample shelves. Of course, in the 707, you fly above the weather. While flying at high altitudes, you may prefer to make use of the built-in smoke-tinted shades. It reduces the intensity of the brilliant sky, but allows you to enjoy the view. An opaque window shade may be drawn to provide a restful atmosphere for that nap between meals. And speaking of meals, there are two complete ultra-modern electric kitchens of stainless steel that are fully equipped to prepare the most tempting of foods. The versatility of these kitchens is such that each airline may offer its specialties in its own best tradition. Here again, the jet engines contribute to the passenger's comfort. Remember, no vibration. And that's certainly appreciated while dining. In these surroundings, even a routine business trip becomes an interesting travel adventure. When you enjoy yourself, it simply means you're going to arrive at your destination rested and relaxed. Our time with you has been all too brief. That's the trademark of jet air travel. It makes you regret that your trip is over. We've tried to show you the ultimate in a blending of speed and comfort. However, before we leave you, let's imagine the approach of evening when the sky outside lies in darkness. We still have matchless beauty on the 707. Our cabin lights become a deep, deep blue, sprinkled with stars. That's our preview of the travel of tomorrow aboard America's first jet transport, the Boeing 707. Good night.